Warning. If you're offended by the sight of a dead deer and the entrails of stated deer, please avert the eyes of you and your youngins. But let's be honest, you didn't click on this video expecting to see kittens playing a piano, did you? What's up y'all, it's Kevin with Double Trouble. Today I'm gonna to show you how to field dress a deer. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. So the first thing you want is a good sharp knife. Um, I like to have a knife that has a, a gut hook on it. You wanna just grab the actual skin and hide and cut down the middle of the belly here. And um, that will keep you from cutting open the actual stomach because the stomach is nasty and that's where it smells real bad but uh so what you want to do is brace the legs open i like to be on kind of a slant uh so that once you do get them cut open you can get all the entrails out and just kind of dump it off to the side so first thing i like to do is just kind of make a cut here now, if it's a buck or a doe, I just like to either cut out the milk sack or the nut sack. Uh, just get rid of that right off the bat. And what you want to do is follow the rectum down and cut all of that out. And I like to do that before I even get started. And just get that out of there. Split that all the way down. All right, once you get that done, we're gonna make an incision right here on the chest cavity, right below the sternum, and cut through the hide a little bit. And then use your gut hook and grab that right there. And just pull down. And that's a nice cut. And that exposes all of the entrails. Yep, whoop. I just punched me in the face. Now, once we are opened up here, it looks like I got had a heavy liver shot with this one. That rage broadhead did the job. I like to dump it out to start with, uh, right off the bat. And then once some of the blood is already out, then I'll reach up in there and cut everything out. I'll do this. I'll just dump. Start. Get rid of some of the blood. Let it drain a second. Now you can see that everything's kind of laying off to the side here. Now I'm going to go in and cut the membrane that's holding all of the entrails in. And the, the hardest thing to cut is the esophagus. It's right up in the chest cavity, right at the bottom of the neck. So you got to get both hands up in there and take your knife and grab the the actual esophagus and cut that esophagus and then run down the inside of the cavity and just cut the membrane that holds everything in place. So, cut a little bit right here. I made an incision of the uh, membrane that's holding everything so I can get to the esophagus right now. I'm gonna reach both hands up in here past the heart. You gotta watch your fingers though when you're up in there. You know, it's kinda hard to tell what's going on. Now everything's just coming out of there. And it's really not rocket science. You basically wanna get everything out of there. You know, you're just cutting around without puncturing the stomach because that's when it gets real nasty. This is a pretty clean shot because I got mostly lung and a little bit of liver. At this point, I think I can just rip it out. There it goes. Put that down there. And that is the gut pile right there. And we got a catfish pond right here and they love it. I'm gonna just toss this right in there. We like to recycle here in uh, Double Trouble. So now you just want, once you get everything kind of out of there, you gotta dump them out because there's some leftover blood. And get 
that blow down there. And then continue to clean. So we're just gonna cut any leftover pieces out and feed the catfish, you know what I mean? There you can see, we got everything out and there are your tenderloins. You wanna make sure you don't pull those tenderloins out because that's some of the best eating meat right there. And that's right underneath that spine. And that's some good eating meat. So to wrap it up, it's really not a whole lot to it. Um, you don't have to overthink it. You just wanna cut that membrane that's holding everything inside the deer, cut the esophagus and pull everything out. Uh, once you've done that, uh, you know, I like to do this in the woods a lot of times. So it's a lot lighter to drag and uh, you can take it home and then clean it out uh, before you take it to get processed. Or if you process it yourself, it usually takes about 10 minutes to gut it out. It's kind of gross the first time you do it. Once you get over the fact that you're, uh, you're gonna get bloody, no way we're around it. This has been your tip on how to gut and field dress a deer. Peace out.